Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Wendy and here is my non-spoiler review for Expats, Episodes 1 and 2. Based on the novel by Janice Y.K. Lee, Expats depicts a multifaceted group of women after a single encounter sets off a chain of life-altering events that leaves everyone navigating the intricate balance between blame and accountability. This series is streaming on Prime Video and I believe it's going to be released weekly, but for the very first um, initial release, its premiere if you will, they did uh, release two episodes, so one and two are currently out right now that you can watch. And as I just mentioned, it is based on the novel written by Janice Y.K. Lee. It is called The Expatriates. I had just finished reading it prior to watching the series and I'm actually really glad I did because I'm able to see, um, obviously compare and contrast between the book and the adaptation and whether if they changed anything up, what they kept the same. The series is created and directed by Lulu Wang, who also helmed Farewell, which is one of my favorite movies when it came out. So based on that, I was expecting this series to also fill me with emotion, as the book did. Expats really centers around three women uh, as they live their life in Hong Kong. We have Margaret, Hillary, and Mercy. What I liked about the first episode is how they changed up um, the events, as in not like the actual timeline, but how they choose to tell the story. So they put a birthday party that Margaret is throwing for Clark um, kind of at the forefront of the first episode. If you read the book, you know that the party does happen, but it slowly progresses throughout the book. And the reason why I like this is it, it gives the audience a sense of like mystery and intrigue. Who are these women? Who is having the party? Who are these people in Hong Kong? Um, so really, without reading the book or whether you read the book, you go in and you know you're you're trying to figure out who Margaret is and who is Clark and who is Hillary and who is Mercy. So I like that it built a sense of mystery, a sense of intrigue, and at the party, the three women you can tell are some way connected. Hillary and Margaret obviously are friends, but they seem like they had a fallout with their friendship. With Margaret and Mercy, we don't really know what's going on. Well, if you've read the book, you know what's going on, but this is gonna be a non-spoiler review, so we're gonna keep that under wraps for you if you haven't read the book or watched the series to find out. Margaret does see Mercy at this party, and she completely freaks out and essentially has a meltdown in the middle of the party. And from that point on, everything starts to slowly unravel. So they essentially, in a way for the first episode, they work things backwards. This is where the women are here at this point in their life, but what are the events that had happened before to make them react to each other this way? I feel that the book, as you get into it, is filled with a lot of emotions. There's a lot going on. There's the whole, you know, like events that's happened with Margaret. But each women are also having a hard time in the current point in their life. They're away from their home. They're living in Hong Kong. Are they there because their husband's work brought them there or are they, are they there for another reason? The way the series is filmed, it's very raw. It kind of puts you, I feel like I'm a fly on the wall when I'm watching the series um, with the way, you know, it's not always accompanied by some grand music. A lot of the times with Lulu Wang, she uses the ambient sound that puts you in the room with these characters. That makes you feel the stillness of the moment and the rawness of their emotion. And I like that a lot. I do wonder though how much the audiences can stay captivated by these characters because, and I felt this way too when I read the book, like I wanted to keep reading because I wanted to know what is going to happen or what did happen to find out. But at the same time, a couple of these characters are not the most likable characters. You know, they're messy, whether they're messy from, you know, this one event that happened that causes them to be this way, or they are just kind of messy in general. Um, and I remember reading the book at one point, I was like, I don't like this character very much. I think I got to stop reading, but I, I did push through and I, I am, I'm glad I finished it. But I just wonder if the viewers will kind of feel that way about a couple of these characters. Something that I liked that they did with this series is that they expand to different characters that the show will focus on. Obviously, we still have Margaret Hillary and Mercy being our main characters. And in the book, they are also the main characters. But the book solely focuses on them 
and tells things not exactly from their point of view, but you know, it, it centers on them. In the series, we get to see more of the people that are involved, people that are in their family. So for Margaret, you get to see a little bit more of Clark. You get to see a lot more of Margaret's kids and how they're reacting to everything that's happened around them, this tragic event that's happened. I really like that a lot because in the book, it really doesn't, it doesn't really tell what these kids are feeling or going through. You can kind of think it when Margaret thinks about it, but the show shows it. And I like that a lot. And they did it with not just, you know, the family members of our three main characters, but also their um, helpers that they're live in help. And that may be one of my favorite things about the series is that we are getting a deeper look into those characters as well. Overall, I am liking episodes one and two. I think the adaptation does work for TV by flipping the some of the events, you know, putting like the party, as I talked about this in the beginning of this review, putting Clark's party in the beginning and then sort of working backwards, almost like a, I don't wanna say like a thriller mystery type, but because it, 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 it not it's not really that, but to see it working backwards, is really just cool to see how things reveal and unveil. Performances are fantastic. I gotta say the standout for me is Sario Blue. I have really only seen her in comedy, so I've been so excited to see her take on the role of Hillary um, and just to, to see how she does in a drama. And she, every time she's on screen, it's, she really lights it up for me, so I'm really enjoying her. Um, but obviously, these are all great actors. I am enjoying everybody. It's just that Sarah Yu is the standout for me. I will say episode one pacing moves better than episode two. Episode two, I felt like I got a little, uh, it, it felt like it got a little slow. It, it lost steam. It was a little bit too much of like jumping back and forth, whether it's between the timeline in the story or between the characters. And it was in episode two where I felt my attention started to wane. But once this event happens, when it does happen, the pacing picks right back up. And then you know you're going to go down for a wild ride. So that is my non-spoiler thoughts for episodes one and two of Expats now streaming on Prime Video. If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you've read the book, how do you compare it to the book? And let's just focus on the first two episodes in the comment section if you wish to discuss so we don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't read the book yet. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.